Now, besides hiring uh, great people, and and obviously, team is the the most significant driver of growing a company or, or growth of a company. What are some of the other factors that you would advise uh, entrepreneurs or CEOs of less than hundred million dollar companies to what what to focus on? Well, I, I think. I, I think oftentimes companies get immersed and leaders get immersed in their own problems, in their own uh, issues, and, and, and what they have to accomplish over the next day, week, uh, month, year, and they forget to look outside of the box. You know, you hear that term, it gets overused, thinking outside of the box. Well, you, you, I don't think, you know, people can do that on their own. I think what you have to do is I think you have to look to examples. In our industry, there were a couple of companies that became multi-billion dollar companies and they're, they're publicly held companies today, but they started out as, as privately held companies and they went through all the things that we did um, about five years before we went through them. And so I spent a ton of time looking at them, learning from them and trying to understand where they had, where they made hit great home runs and they did well and also, <coughs> excuse me, where they had issues where there were, for example, where they, they changed their model a little bit and their service dropped. And so I think people could do a better job researching and, and get less involved in the day-to-day -day operation of your business in more time and spend more time on the theoretical thinking of what do you want to be when you grow up? And once you understand what do you want to be when you grow up, you have to look at people that have been there already and what did they do to get there. You have to learn from past successes and also learn from other companies' past failures before you get to those points. That is true. Uh, you, you have to constantly learn and grow. And to learn, th there's nothing better than identifying those who have done exactly the same thing before you. Oftentimes, CEOs will continue to find solutions within. But uh, like you said, you have to think outside of the box, which begins with thinking outside of yourself uh, uh, to start with. Um, now, in retrospect, and this is my last question, in retrospect, knowing what you know today, if you were knowing what you know today, in 1975, how do you think you would have done things differently and how do you think you would have grown? Well, it's interesting. I oftentimes say that if I, if I truly understood the specialty pharmacy industry uh, five years earlier, I, I, do, I really didn't understand, I don't think. I, I learned very early on how to build a business and how to grow it one doctor, one patient, one customer at a time. And again, I'm very proud of that ability to grow my business 20% year over year when you know most companies you know are happy with you know with high single digit growth and we were able to show you know double digit growth for for a, a dozen straight years but I, I think that had I done had I been more of a historian early on had I done my homework on my industry and had I better understood what drove the early implementers in our industry I think my company could be far larger than it was today and so the reality is I came a little late to the understanding of how to use the past history uh, you know of our industry to drive our business and so I you know had I known earlier on I think that we would be one of those maybe we'd be one of those 10 billion dollar companies today instead of moving towards a billion dollars because um, you know I was a little slow to maybe understand you know what what the history of our industry could show me so I, my recommendation to people would be stop spending quite as much time you know with the day-to-day -day running of your business and spend a little bit more time forward thinking and you'll be amazed and, and that comes to to me working on me you know I'm not the most organized guy in the world and that's kind of one of my drawbacks so what I had to do is I had to take a lot of organizational things that I was doing that were taking a lot of my time and give those to other people within the industry within my company so that I had time to think more on the theoretical direction my company was going to go when I started to do that the company's growth accelerated dramatically